So, Neil, what exactly is going on right here? Okay, we, right here now we have one of the uh, idler wheels removed. These are the small wheels that uh, sit up above the large road wheels. That's what the track rolls across as it comes across the top. It's to support it and hold the track up right. so it doesn't flag and rattle. Unfortunately, with this one, something has happened in its lifetime. Uh, oh, actually, we've got the bearings pulled out. Uh, Andrew, our heavy uh, machinery mechanic here, and uh, his apprentice, Bill, have been working on this. They've just got it pulled off shortly ago, and uh, pulling it apart, they pulled out the uh, main bearings now on the one side, they're working on the other. Uh, once that's done, they'll be, uh, they'll be cleaned up and ready, prepared, ready to go back in again. This will have to go out to a workshop, a workshop. Uh, but specialist that uh, the man that's, uh, that we know is very good at welding will have to take a look at it, decide what has to be done. And there you can see the large crack here. Uh, we believe this is cast steel, so we have, to be, we have to let an expert look at it. It's just not right. a simple matter of trying to bang it into shape and welding it back into place again. It's probably going to have to be heated and pushed back into place and then uh, heat, heat control as it's welded back together again. Uh, again, it's one of those things that uh, has to be done because the chances are that uh, just moving the vehicle around one of the, uh, the guide pins at the bottom of the track could snag on that, which could snap the track, jam it, or even break that out completely. So, Again, one of the things we've run across that has to be done, but uh, it's certainly it's off now. It's being pulled apart and well on the way to uh, heading out to have that fabrication repair work done. All right, so here we are right where the flywheel was removed uh, from right here. Could you perhaps show us exactly what it does? Okay, it's an idler wheel, actually. Oh. <laughs> My, no problem. That's me being an Egypt. All right, as, the, as you can see, naturally the tread, once the vehicle's moving, is rotate. It's being driven by the front sprocket. So as it comes around and goes against the ground, no problem. It's laying flat. As it moves along, the road wheels roll along across it. When it comes back up and around again, though, of course, it's going to be sagging and drooping here for the whole whole time because it's because of the, there's you don't have the amount of road wheels up here that we have down below. What we have up here, though, are idler wheels, and all they are are steel wheels that allow the tread to jet comfortably roll across again without looping down and sagging and, and snagging. You can see here's one over here. You can see the function of it. The track comes along, rolls across through it through the, uh, the teeth in the bottom, right through the, group, right, the uh, grooves in the middle, and uh, just keep it up, stops it from sagging. As we were looking at the one over the bench, the one that was got damaged, we're not too sure how, but it's got a vicious crack in it, so uh, the mechanics have pulled that off today. You can see the hub shaft where it came off of. Uh, we have to, of course, lift the track up a bit with this jack here to clear it. And as uh, we were explaining before, that will be uh, farmed out to a fabricator, who uh, a welder, who will be able to uh, make the repairs on it, uh, weld it back into condition and uh, true it back up again. 